something happened. Let me put it this way. 13,000 years ago, there was a mass of ice, two miles thick, covered all of Canada and the northern United States. It reached from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. A few thousand years later, it was gone. And the, the rapidity with which that ice disappeared has been a profound conundrum to the, to the climatologists that have looked at it. In fact, in the early 70s, they came up, they were looking at the rate at which this ice had disappeared. And back then, they were allowing 10,000 years for it. And they, they devised what they called the energy paradox. They said, you know what? Nowhere on Earth is there enough energy to get rid of that much ice in 10,000 years. And so you can sh if you look at the literature, from roughly 1972 to 1975, they were wrestling with this. Finally, in 1975, they said, there's got to be an error in the data somewhere. They put the whole paradox on the shelf where it's been sitting ever since. And nobody has, to my knowledge, has gone back and readdressed the energy paradox. What has changed since the 70s is that the time span allowed to get rid of the ice is now has diminished by 75 or 80 percent. In other words, now it's apparent that the ice mass has mostly disappeared in a couple of thousand years, not 10,000 years, which has only magnified the problem itself. But see, here's the thing. In trying to come to grips with these great catastrophes, and, and one reason why a lot of mainstream scientists have rejected the idea of catastrophe is because they can't come up with mechanisms that would be provocative enough and powerful enough to trigger such events. The problem, though, is this. Their thinking has been confined exclusively to effects and forces that are terrestrial in nature. And the, big, the paradigm shift that's ahead of us now is we're going to be going from a Earth-based to a cosmic-based concept of Earth change. And once we realize that when we're talking about the global ecology, we're not talking about something that's limited to the Earth's surface. We're talking about something that's much vaster. Earth is part of a much bigger ecological system that includes the sun, it includes our moon, it includes all of the planets in the solar system, it includes the changing cosmic environment. And there's a number of different ways that the cosmic environment changes. And those slight changes in the cosmic environment can have profound repercussions as far as we're concerned down here on the surface.